When you're ready to share your InDesign documents, whether they have interactivity or not, you can do so using several different file formats, including PDF and Fixed Layout EPUB, as well as share it via Publish Online. In this video, you'll focus specifically on publishing using Publish Online. You can open this file from the practice files for this tutorial if you'd like to follow along. Now to share your document with others, you can publish it using Publish Online. After you publish your document, you can share the online document URL so anyone can view the document online, on any device, on any platform, complete with interactive features like buttons, slideshows, animations, and a whole lot more. Anyone who has the link to the published document can view it in any web browser without logging in. Now with your document open, come above the document and click the Publish Online button in the InDesign application bar here. If you're publishing your document for the first time, select Publish New Document in the dialog box that opens. After publishing, if you need, you can return to this dialog box and update the existing document. You can change the title of the document that users will see. You can add a description of the document. Maybe I'll type Poetry Reading at the Library Resource Center. You can select which pages to publish. You can select whether the viewer will see individual pages or spreads. This document has a single page, so that won't matter. You can also allow viewers to download a PDF copy of your document, which they can then distribute and upload manually. I'll select that. The published document can also be embedded on any website or blog using embed code provided when the users view the layout online or shared via social networks in email. You can select this option if you don't want document viewers to see the share or embed options for your published document. Looking in the Advanced tab at the top, you can select an image to display as your cover image for social posting. That's the first thing users will see. And you can choose things like the format, resolution, and quality level for images within the document. Okay, now to publish the document, click Publish. After it's published, you can view the document in browser, copy a link to share with others, or share a link to it via social media. Click View Document to see it. It should open in your default web browser. Publish online documents are hosted on Adobe servers, and each published document is assigned its own unique URL. While viewing it, you can test out the interactivity. You can navigate the pages. You can share the document and more. Back in InDesign, if you want to see documents you've published using Publish Online, InDesign provides a Publish Online dashboard where you can access all of your published documents. Now to view the dashboard, first click Close, then choose File, Publish Online Dashboard. The dashboard should open in your default browser. On the page, there are two tabs in the dashboard. Document Trends, and Overview. You can manage the published document on the Document Trends tab. You can view analytics, share the publication, copy and beg code, or delete it. The Overview tab provides insights for all of the documents you've published. You can close this page if you want and return to InDesign. Now that you know how to successfully publish a document using Publish Online, the next time you have a document you'd like to share with others, you can easily generate a digital version of an InDesign document that works on any device in any modern web browser.